What's happening? Uh, right here in Duval, out east. Uh, you know, just telling vision, got some ideas to, to really make our hood great again. Uh, this is the big business district. And uh, we want to we wanna stir some things up. So I got my man, uh, Daryl with me, AKA man. So, so talk to me. All right, we, you said we had some businesses back here when you come off on Phoenix. So, and, and what's funny is that you said that all of the historical businesses are closed, right? right. From, you said tire shops? Tire shops. Tire shop, what else? Restaurants. Restaurants. Churches. And churches. Um, Actually, two tire shops and a warehouse on, uh, the same, on the same commercial road, the same area. You can see, you can see the tire shops. See the tire shops? To make it to the store. There's a store there. Right. So. Uh, a house for sale. And multiple businesses on the street. Multiple businesses that are doing no business, okay. uh, just basically just taking up commercial real estate. And people say, well, what's going on? A lot of times we focus on what's going on above the ground, but we're not paying attention to what's happening beneath the ground. So uh, a lot of businesses are closing because they're not able to meet the inspections, whether it's contaminated soil, whether it's drainage and sewage, whether it's fire, and, and, and basically it's not worth the expense to bring these historic landmarks pertaining to businesses up the code because it's going to basically offset the cost of, <laughs> of doing business. It's, it's counterproductive. So instead of bringing this area up to you, you know, uh, in, inspection and code enforcement, it's better off just to take your business and move somewhere else and just shut down shop. And I see a great opportunity for community revitalization. And you say, well, if we already know what the problem is, how do we offset it then? Great question. Tax deferment. Let's bring in some witty ideas, some great ideas, some great business solutions to help make this hood great again, to make this a, a big business district. Meaning that, look, if we're able to push your taxes back two to three years, uh, five to 10 years, whatever it takes to make this a vibrant community. Another thing I need you to pay attention to is the roads. We gotta make sure that we're channeling traffic because when you look at these roads, these roads aren't made for multiple axles. These roads are made for two axle vehicles. So when you look at it, this is a, a fairly uh, modern uh, constructed road, which means that it took ta tax dollars from out of that business to be able to be vibrant and sustained and put it right back into the roadways. But we gotta make sure that we're opening up these lanes for commercial business and not necessarily big or large vehicle business and making sure that we're giving them another avenue to where they're able to do their pickups and drop-offs. Uh, whenever you got these big 16-wheelers, Mack trucks coming up and down these roads, it's just a matter of time before they get beat back in again. And we got these large, unexplainable potholes and manholes. So this is just one area uh, of great opportunity, but it's going to take collective bargaining, it's going to take some collective ideas, uh, it's going to take some strategic planning, and it's going to take some reinvesting. Uh, there is no revitalization without reinvesting. Uh, we're all in this together. I'm here out east, and Nashawn Nix, hashtag I am District 7, hashtag Bold City, hashtag Stronger Together, hashtag Make the Hood Great Again, Hashtag, you can get it too.